Welcome to our journey through time as we explore why did the Anglo-Saxons migrate to Britain? Migration, a word that carries with it tales of journeys, of new beginnings, and sometimes of necessity. It's a universal phenomenon, as old as humanity itself. It's the movement of people from one place to another, influenced by a myriad of factors, be it the search for better opportunities, escaping conflict or environmental challenges, or the simple allure of the unknown. Now imagine this, we're in the early Middle Ages, a period of great migrations in history. Among these movements one stands out, the migration of the Anglo-Saxons, a warrior society from the Germanic regions of what is now Denmark and Northern Germany, they were to play a pivotal role in shaping the history and culture of a distant land. So let's delve into the past and understand why the Anglo-Saxons left their homeland. The Anglo-Saxons hailed from what is now Denmark and Northern Germany. Back in the migration period, their homeland was a complex tapestry of small tribal communities, scattered across a landscape of dense forests, fertile plains and winding rivers. Political power was fluid and often rested in the hands of local chieftains and warrior elites. Life was far from easy. The Anglo-Saxons were primarily farmers living in small rural settlements. They toiled in the fields, reared livestock and traded goods to survive. Their society was hierarchical with a clear distinction between the free and the enslaved. The free included everyone from the noble elite to ordinary farmers while the enslaved worked the lands and served their masters. Despite the harsh conditions the Anglo-Saxons were a resilient lot. They were skilled craftspeople, adept at creating beautiful objects from simple materials. Their poetry and storytelling traditions were rich and vibrant, offering glimpses into their worldview and values. Life in their homeland was challenging, and the promise of a better future led them to consider migration. The journey to Britain was not an easy one for the Anglo-Saxons. Picture this, a band of warriors, farmers and families, leaving everything they knew behind to embark on a perilous journey across the North Sea. They faced not only the unpredictable and often treacherous conditions of the sea, but also the uncertainty of what awaited them on the other side. This wasn't a decision made lightly. It required a deep resolve, a fierce courage, and a sense of adventure that we can only imagine. They were risking their lives for the promise of a better future, a new beginning. They had to navigate through storms, endure the harsh elements and overcome the fear of the unknown. It was a test of their resilience, their determination and their spirit. Despite the hardships, they persevered with the hope of a better life in Britain. Upon reaching Britain, the Anglo-Saxons found a land filled with opportunity. A land rich in resources and ripe for cultivation, their new home was a beacon of hope, promising a prosperous life far from the turmoil they had left behind. The initial experiences of the Anglo-Saxons in Britain were likely a mix of trepidation and excitement. They were strangers in a new land and yet the potential for a new start must have been an exhilarating prospect. The vast landscapes, the fertile soil, the rivers teeming with fish, all these painted a picture of a land that was not just survivable, but thrivable. The Anglo-Saxons wasted no time in establishing their communities. They built settlements near rivers and forests, taking advantage of the abundant natural resources. These settlements often consisted of wooden huts and communal halls, where the people gathered for meals, meetings and celebrations. Agriculture was a key aspect of their survival strategy. The Anglo-Saxons cultivated crops such as wheat, barley and rye, and raised livestock including cattle, sheep and pigs. Hunting and fishing supplemented their diet, and the forest provided timber for building and fuel. Trade was also important. The Anglo-Saxons traded goods with neighboring tribes and later with other countries. This not only provided them with a wider variety of resources, but also helped establish diplomatic relationships. Religion too played a significant role in their daily lives. They worshipped a pantheon of gods and goddesses, a practice that would later merge with Christian beliefs. Despite the challenges they faced, the Anglo-Saxons persevered. They adapted to their new environment, learned new skills, and built a society that was to leave a profound impact on the history of Britain. The migration of the Anglo-Saxons to Britain wasn't just about survival, it was about finding a place where they could grow, thrive and establish a cultural identity that would endure for centuries, and in many ways, they succeeded. Britain provided the Anglo-Saxons with a new beginning, a chance to build a prosperous future. A future that, in time, would shape the course of Britain's history. The Anglo-Saxon migration had a profound impact on Britain. When we delve into the annals of history, it's clear that this movement of peoples wasn't just a footnote, it was a defining chapter in the evolution of British culture, language and society. 
So, let's talk about culture. The Anglo-Saxons brought with them a rich tapestry of traditions and folklore, which have since become deeply intertwined with British culture. Their tales of heroes and mythical beasts, such as Beowulf and the dragon, still captivate our imagination today. Their festivals marking the changing of the seasons have morphed into some of the most celebrated events on the British calendar. Ever wondered where Halloween came from? Well, you can thank the Anglo-Saxons for that. Now, let's consider language. The Anglo-Saxons spoke what we now call Old English. It's the root of the modern English language, and while it might sound quite different to our ears today, many of the words we use daily are Anglo-Saxon in origin. Words like water, bread, mother and father, all these everyday terms they're all gifts from the Anglo-Saxons. As for society, the Anglo-Saxons also brought a new social structure to Britain. They established a system of governance based on local territories or kingdoms, each ruled by a king. These territories eventually merged to form what we now know as England. Their legal systems too have left a lasting legacy. Concepts like wear guild, a value placed on a person's life based on their social status, have evolved over time and can be seen in the foundations of modern British legal principles. In essence the Anglo-Saxon migration wasn't just a journey from one place to another. It was a voyage of ideas, traditions, and systems that have shaped Britain in countless ways. So, in search of a better life, the Anglo-Saxons not only changed their own destinies, but also left an indelible mark on Britain. That's why the Anglo-Saxons migrated to Britain.